بس شفا على المخيم خليهم يعيشوا ثاني اللي عشناها احنا يوم القصف ليسلموا اسرائيل على القدس على كل شيء لو عاشوا معنا لو طفل يهودي بس هيك يعني قعد وشاف شو صار معنا او رجل يهودي قعد معنا شاف شو هو عملوا فينا ليسلم القدس على اللي فيها شفت جثث شفت بيوت مهدمه شفت يعني اشياء لا لا توصف باللسان لما يعني بعد اللي شفته اي حياه بدي اعيشها بعد ما تحطمت كل طموحاتي اي حياه بدي اعيشها ما فيش حياه Can you tell our viewers what's happening really in Gaza ever yeah. since Israel pulled out? Well, it had been hoped that if Israel pulls out, then uh, theoretically the Palestinians there would say, fine, we have no more uh, grievances with you and we'll make peace with you. The opposite has happened. Israel pulled out, the Hamas moved in, backed by Iran, and Gaza has become an Iranian base. And you said an this Iranian would happen, camp. by the way, you know that. Yeah, yeah. You, you told me that. I think on your show. That's right. You said this would happen. Well, unfortunately, I was right. I you wish were. I had been wrong. but. Uh, I was right. President Mubarak of Egypt said a few weeks ago in a conversation with a Western diplomat, he said, Egypt today has a common border with Iran. He meant Gaza. Brothers and sisters, comrades and friends, wassalamu alaikum, peace be on all of you. In April and May of 1943, The Jews of the Warsaw Ghetto were surrounded by barbed wire fences by the occupiers of Poland and they faced a choice in the words of the song of the partisans they could die on their knees or they could live forever and they chose to rise up against their occupier to use their bodies as weapons to dig tunnels to fight not to die in ones and twos of hunger and typhus but to die as free men and women today the Palestinian people in Gaza are the new Warsaw Ghetto and those who are murdering them are the equivalent of those who murdered the Jews in Warsaw in 1943. Yesterday, I was at the embassy 
of Egypt. And I want to say that there are many governments responsible for this great crime in Palestine. But the dictatorship of Hosni Mubarak is jointly responsible for the murder of every Palestinian who has died these last two years. When he was embracing living as the bombs were falling, when he locked the border at Rafah, he became an international criminal and an outlaw of the Arab world. So I call in conclusion on the great people of Egypt, on the heroic armed forces of Egypt, on the heroic army of Egypt of 1973, to rise up and sweep away this tyrant Mubarak and let the people Go free! الجبلة ما خافش منهم زي الفيران بتخ... يعني معاهم سلاح ومعاهم دبابات و... يمكن يتزروكوا بين الدبابات خايفين منا احنا يعني مدنيين بس هم ارادتهم ضعيفة خوفهم لدرجة الجنون يعني مش طبيعي عندهم الخوف احنا ما بنخاف منهم وشو ما عنا فينا ما بنخاف منهم اسلحتهم نزلت علينا زي المي لانها نزلت من من ايدين فاشلة نزلت من ايدين خايفه من ايدين مرخيه
يعني منايف اني ارجع البيت